All right, folks. Oh, here, you got an unboxing. Awesome components right off the bat that it comes with for RTR. And I'm super excited to get this out on the trails. I'm gonna try to drive it stock for the meantime, except for some minor things I have to do to it. Uh, Ford RTR, it's got the R3 metal transmission, four wheel drive, it does have beadlock wheels. It comes with a three channel, 2.4 gigahertz remote control. 45 turn motor, uh, servo, metal servo, which has pretty decent torque. Uh, I might try to waterproof the electronics first before getting it out. We'll see. Um, I might not have time for it, but check it out. Well, all right, on to the unboxing. So, again, if you're using blades, folks, make sure safe and safety first. So, Cut off RC four wheel drive seal there, and let's see what we got. By the way, the back of the box it just shows some of the optional parts that you can get for it: super soft leaf springs, fender flares, winch, tires and wheels, XVDs supposedly to get better steering angles, scale shocks. So, Got some items in the parts bag, got the manual, battery straps, uh, and it comes with this nice uh, front bumper guard. It is plastic though, but it's not bad. It's nice looking, um, and it's also available in a metal option. Uh, although I might be able to practice on some brazing and maybe braze one. This part, I'm not too sure what it's for. I'll have to look through, look it up in the manual. The straps were nice that it come came with a bunch of straps, battery straps. Uh, all right, and inside we've got our manual. Got my scissors here, hobby scissors. I'm gonna cut the straps off in the back. Release so I can release some of the other parts. Here inside this bubble wrap, got the remote control. Nice thing about this, it is a basic remote, but it does have really good features. You've got dual rate for both throttle and steering. It does, and you can set endpoints individually for throttle and the steering. So the big advantage on being able to set throttle, I mean, uh, steering endpoints is that you can set and that way you don't end up destroying your servo for some of the really cheap transmitters out there remotes you can't set the endpoints so then you're always maxing out the steering even though you might be limited uh, as far as how far the steering can throw so awesome about that and here I'm cutting some more of the straps so I can release the trail finder two out of the packaging you've got it zip tied I cut it. I cut the straps on the other end, so that way I could still reuse them in case I need to. Um, also, on this remote, the other great thing about this remote is that it has a third channel. Third channel I can use to mount, like, uh, like if I mount a winch on it, then I can use that third cha third channel to control the winch. And now that we got the straps released, here is. The RC four wheel drive trail finder two. Awesome. Feels a little stiff here. The suspension's a little stiff. The back feels a little bit softer. Although even though the leaf springs are the same for front and rear, I'm not sure why the fronts feel a little stiffer. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna run that completely stock right off the bat. I might remove some of the leaf springs and do that way I can have it softer. I like that these side mirrors are rubber and not the hard plastic. I thought that before the RTR came with the plastic mirrors, which were prone to snapping off, these ones are soft rub rubber. They flex, and uh, hopefully they I don't lose them out on the trails. I have lost a lot of different parts over the time out on trails. Very nice detail in the grill here. Um, realistic wipers. 
um, soft tires, pretty soft tires. I like that these bead locks are metal. They're steel, uh, coated steel. So um, you've got a little bit better weight down low and the fact that the axles are also metal. So here, taking off the clips off of the body posts right over the bed. I think I'm going to take those off completely. Um, what I, to me, the only advantage of those is that they help you center the body, so it's a little bit easier to get the screws off the sides here underneath the doors, and that's what attaches the body to the chassis. Uh, right underneath here, we've got our metal transmission the R3 single speed um, and it goes to the, the centered uh, what do you call that centered center differential yep. there's a lot of metal screws and whenever you have metal to metal the screws tend to vibrate off so um, what I'm going to do is for most of these screws I'm going to take them out, back them out, and then put some Loctite on them, and then put them back in. All right, let's see. Inside, no interior, so I'm gonna have to make an interior for it. At least I've got a dash, that's awesome, and a steering wheel. So, make some seats. Might have to relocate the ESC batteries back here. Sweet, can't wait to run these bad boy. Uh, let's see, battery connector. Um, connector, oh, that stays. Okay, so, that I could, oh, one more. Maybe, I might have to refill. If I wanted to make it more scale, I could refill these and use Velcro or magnet. So easier to take off and the more skill bits. Alright, that should take off. Perfect. Awesome. I love these hard bodies. Got chrome handles here. Hard bodies. Let me tighten this side since I loosened that up. I've already got all kinds of projects. I'm thinking about this awesome rig. bed here separates so I can make just cab <coughs> multiple options I love these hard bodies are just perfect and I could even use it on my drifter let's set that aside okay so here got a 45 turn motor these are R3 transmission BEC ESC Back here in the fuel cell, scale fuel cell, we've got the receiver hidden. That's awesome. I like how everything's already tied down with a neat wire management here. Pretty good. We've got the servo, chassis mounted servo. Another awesome thing about her scale appearance. So, servo's out of the way, makes it look more scale as opposed to having the servo right on top of the bunch. Here we got shock hoops for stock shock hoops. Hmm. It's funny, I just saw something that I might be able to use. Smaller shocks. The shocks look a little stiff. Or the springs, sorry, the leaf springs. I might be able to modify that by removing some of those leaves. Huh. So see here, as I'm compressing, and the wheels are turning slightly, that's bump steer, and we'll, I have to figure out a way to try and eliminate a little bit of that. Since it's a little stiff on the leaf springs, I might have to remove some of these leaves, and maybe, huh, well, that's an option. All right. The connector, I use Traxxas connectors on my batteries, so I might have to remove that. So, here's an example. Uh, 
So track the track the stop connector. You have to change this on the ESC. Cut those off. <sighs> Too bad I don't have any adapter for that, but it's okay. Let's see what else have we got here. Awesome, beautiful chassis. Love this rig. The battery mounted here for the straps. Well, bottom line, this is such an awesome rig. Tons and tons of people already have this rig and love it. And I've gotten to use my friends and anyway, I've, I've loved how this rig performs. So get it. I think you're going to enjoy this rig. It's an awesome rig to have. And uh, happy RCing out there. Again, thanks for watching everyone.